and now we're going to move into adding color to lights. So how about if we made color for these torches? Because when it comes to effects uh, editing, which will be very soon, we're going to need to somehow uh, get these lights to match with the effect, for example, a torch. When it comes to this, I would like you to make sure that the intensities remain at 192. Okay? Anything that has nothing to do with shadows or suns, remain at 192, and you could certainly uh, light up your map with colors. Change the range to 25 for this, or, you know what, 30 would be okay as well. 25 or 30. Do not cast shadows, and keep this at 1. Now, what would be a good color for this kind of scenario? Let's try 1. This is what I usually use. I use 1 and 0.5. Okay? Be very careful when you type these values in, guys, because if you type in a slash, a backslash, or a letter, uh, Browder does not like that, and it will immediately crash. So please, please implore you to save your progress every minute. Okay? especially when it comes to wall edits like in the previous tutorial please save your map daily and every single minute because you never know I've, I've made maps where where uh, oh, I, was, I started from scratch and it took me an hours to make and I didn't I worked non-stop and then the moment I, cr I made a mistake especially when it comes to lighting and walls the whole thing crashes and you regret the entire thing and then you pretty much just give up so please guys make sure to uh, save so we have one light there. Let's put another one here. Oh yeah, guys, make sure the light is just almost touching the ground. Do not make it touch the ground. It's, do not ever make it go through the ground, or else it's not going to work, okay? The light must be above the ground, just slightly. And if you don't see, if you don't see calculate, just raise it a little bit more, and uh, it should work out fine. So change this back to 1. Make sure you press Enter on every side. 30. I don't believe there are uh, any copy and paste to lights. I haven't heard of anything like that. It would be so e so much better to mapping if we had the copy and paste function for lights. So let's try that. I believe, I know that under global height edit there is a copy and paste function. For example, if I did, uh, we'll talk about these features, like brow edit features and tips in later, later videos, but if I took the uh, global height control, highlight an area, press C, it has a copy and paste function, but it, I've done, I have tried to copy just by selecting lights and it does crash. So this needs to be some fixes around here. Okay, so, whoa, see that? I almost, almost put a backslash in there. So lucky. I'm going to save this progress. Save. Good. Um, if you take a look at your command prompt right now, why is it so big? All right. If you, if you take a look at your command prompt and you save, you will see all the save progress there. So let's go take a look at the command prompt. What happened? Just make sure you save your map before going there. Okay, you see this? It tells you uh, what's been saved, what's been written. Up here was your calculate light maps from the previous one and it make sure you see all of this before you uh, do anything else with your map, okay? Make sure this is all good, that you see exactly what's been written here. Okay, so now let's calculate the light maps and see what's going to happen. So generate, calculate light maps. Okay, so as you can see, we do have lights. And these are pretty good for torch lights, right? And uh, as you can see, it matches nicely. The shadows go through that. It's really great. Uh, one thing to know, uh, every time you calculate light maps, your smooth factor ratio, like I talked to you about, by going generate smooth light map, will go away. So you, the best time to do this, to, to smooth the light map, is when all your lights are done in your map, everything is ready to go, so smooth everything once it's all complete. That should be the last, last thing to do, okay? Uh, now, how about changing this, you know, this is kind of too bland for a middle. Let's change this, this area to, like, a more reddish value. So, make a new light. 192, this changes to 1, uh, 0.5, and make the radius very big, like 500 big. Okay, we just want to tint the, the surface. We don't want a big yellow surface to make it look really bad. We just want to just tint it a bit. So, you know, m raise it up, like I showed you, hold control, left click, and, ra and raise a button. So, raise, push the uh, mouse down. And we just got a fraction of the area, just like that. Let's see what happens to that now. You can actually click L while you're calculating light maps to turn them on and off. So let's see what happened. Okay, so what's the difference? 
there's a slight tint, right? You see that? Okay, there's not there is a slight tint. So let's just you just gotta do trial and error here. So you see how I'm trying to move the light down, it's not working? Just try moving it like that. Like just move it around by before you try lowering it and then it should lower. See I'm increasing the radius a little bit more. Now let's try that. Let's see what happens. Okay. There we go. So it's a lot more uh, yellow for sure. See that difference? Oh yeah, that's a big difference right there. If you would like to make it a little more yellow, you can certainly do that by, by lowering the light even more. As you can see, the intensity of a light moves from the inside out. So the, the lower you go, the bigger the concentration area. So, for example, see how big the circle is? My concentration area is much bigger than it is in this tiny thing. It's not much. So that's why you got to be careful when you uh, do light maps. So let me, I'm just going to make this do a little more right here. See what happens. Okay, that's pretty good, yeah. So we got lots of yellow there. So you have an idea of how that works, right? And you have, and uh, you also have an idea for here. What if? Uh, let me do one more thing. Let's say we wanted to make this a more sunset scenario for outside. I like sunsets, so let's try that out. Change these values to color to 0.3 and 0.2, so we can add some color to this map. Calculate light maps again, and let's see what happens. You see that? Nice and yellow. That's very nice for a sunset. Okay, so we have a little bit of an idea of adding colors to light maps, but for now, let me just show you some uh, examples what you can use in future maps. So let me give you some combinations of lights that I personally use. This one over here I'm making is perfect for uh, room entrances, like a let's say you, you walked into a building and you're the, you were, you're at the entrance of the of the uh, you're at the entrance of the room, right? Perfect is white, which is one one one. And uh, if we calculate this, you just see a nice white spot, which is great. Also, uh, another good one to use is blue. This can be used for like a snow snow village or like an ice dungeon kind of look. So this is good for snow slash ice. Make sure this is at thirty. Nothing else is touched, right? I'll calculate the I'll calculate these for you guys in just a bit. Um, another one. Let's try another one. How about a pink? I like using this one, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, I think this is a pink, 0.7, or it's more like purple. No, it's like a slight pinkish purple. This is actually good for like a whitish area as well for snow. Let's change this to 30, right, and let's lower this, just like that. Let's make another one. A pink point. Let me, go let me go take a look at my other maps. One second. Okay, so I got some more. Uh, here's another one. Point seven. Point five. Point six. And let's change this to thirty. This one's also really good. This is more like a pinkish purple. This is really good for decorating like a, a house and stuff like that. I'll show you actually an example of my of an ho some houses I'm working on. But let's actually generate these for now. Let's take a look at what we actually made. So. How about these lights? Okay, now you see how they actually they're not showing out, right? That's because they're not close enough to the floor. So you gotta be very careful when you do this. So make sure you lower them enough so they're just touching the floor. Zoom in, so you can see that's just touching the floor. Here it's there. It's, it's better. This is just touching the floor like that, and there we go. That's good. Now let's try this again. Okay, now, for some reason it's not actually calculating. So, the, a good reason for why that could be true is because there's too much light concentration in this area, meaning 127 added on to the shadow, added on to uh, this addition we made here. Uh, hmm. Let's try with making these, let's make a platform actually, let's make a separate platform. So I'll make something over here, just something different, right? If you see why this is looking really weird, that's because my lights are on. Turn off the lights by pressing the L button. Good. Now let's move our lights to this location. One, two, three, and four. So first light here, make sure it's lowered nice and well like that. Right there, right here, and just like that. Okay, let's try this now. Okay, much better. As you can see, some of the white light creeped up. Sorry, not the white light, the shadow creeped up there. Let me just 
uh, increase this radius so we have at least something covering that area. Oops, that looks too small. 1,000. Wow, that's a lot. Sorry. 700. There, that's better. Let's just do a quick calculate right there, just so we have it all nice and bright. A few more seconds. One, two, three. And we have some light here. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, we have white, blue, we have the pinkish purplish color, and a good uh, torch yellow. Okay? So torch yellow, 1.5. A pink for a good uh, house room, for like a I don't know, just simple condo or whatever you want to make. 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. A uh, blue for like an ice dungeon, snow village area. 0 0.5, 0 0.1. And, and then a nice white for your entrances, just 1, 1, 1. Now I'm going to show you some project lights and that I've been working on. Okay, so you have an idea what else you can do. Okay, so. Uh, okay. So I have this here. This is one of the houses I'm, I'm working on. Uh, I will explain in other tutorials how to properly format a nice house. You could raise the terrain, make walls. You could It's your imagination, but I'll definitely how to sh show you how to make nice areas. Here's the lighting for this house. It's very nice and smooth out, uh, smoothed out, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to go to sound edit just so it gets rid of that light bulbs and stuff. So you can see it's nice and pretty and everything's smoothed out. I did I, I used the generate smooth option so all the lights are smoothed. Here's the white light like I showed you for the entrance for the door. It looks really, really good there. Uh, here's some pink and uh, and some uh, purpley on the side, which is really great. Let me show you the lights here. Show the 111 right there. One minute. See, notice how they're all at 192. Here's 0 0.7, 0 0.5, and 0 0.6, right, for the pinkish area here, which is really nice. Uh, here is my sunlight. And here is another one, actually, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and 0.6. This is more like a bluish color. I try to get it in there. I guess it didn't really do much. But here's another blue here, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and 0 0.6. And then here's a nice purple, 0 0.7, 0 0.5, and 0 0.6, right? Purpley pink, slightly like that. Okay, so that's some more lights there. And uh, let me just show you one more uh, example of other lights I use. Okay, here's one last peek at uh, another one I'm using, looking, doing right now. As you can see, I have lots of uh, lights around here. It's an this is just an obstacle course map. Okay, uh, let's take a look at these lights. 1.3 and 0.1. Here's another example of a kind of light you could use for torches. Okay, uh, as for the big colored area, 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.1 is a more of like a, a yellowish mixed with a brown, right? And it's really good for just lighting up uh, kind of like a, I don't know, like a yellowish area. Very, very slightly though. Uh, they're all the same. Here's another one, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.1. So you can take a look at this. They're all the same lights. They just repeated themselves. All the torches are the same. They're all the same, 0 0.1, 1 point, 1 .3, 0.1, 1.3, 0.1. And uh, these main lights, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.1. So just something to take a look at. Feel free to come up with your own combinations, right? And uh, I'm sure you'll find some uh, great joy in uh, coloring your maps and making it look really good. Uh, just a few more things. Make sure, guys, that uh, if you have a very large map and you, you put a lot of light maps in it, uh, you will uh, your brow edit can freeze and do not treat that as an error okay it is not erring at all it's just focusing on calculating light maps it will resume back to its function uh, functionality after it's done calculating so please guys it, it's not it did not crash okay so when you when you click calculate light maps or uh, when you save your map especially when you save your map it's saving all the light maps that it just did so make sure that uh, you leave your browser alone for some for a little bit and it should be perfectly fine when you're done. Okay, so our, our next lesson will be uh, designing rooms. Okay, so make sure we can do some of that. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial.